Are your paintings boring? Do you constantly look at the window and wonder why you suck? I mean, your drawing sucks. Well, today I'm gonna show you one little change that you can do to enhance your art quickly. Imagine your subject is the Earth in the universe. There, did you see it? Hey, it looks flat and dark. So that's why you want to bring in the sun, our key light. Our sun likes to run around. Sometimes it can be high above and sometimes it's down below. The sun's job is to light the earth and keep us warm. The other side is still too dark. So that's why you need a moon to fill in the deep and dark shadow. This is our fill light. That already looks way better. Now, let's say we have some stars behind and they also create a light source. Uh, shut up. Alright, the stars work at our backlight, I guess, which separate the subject from the background. As you see, the earth turns from 2D into 3D just by using this lighting setup. To summarize the three-point lighting technique, we're gonna need a key light which is a main source to light the subject, a fill light to fill in and balance the shadow, a backlight to separate the subject from the background. That's right, this is a widely known lighting method in filmmaking. Even though filmmaking differs from painting, I think it's a great way to understand and use light. You can experiment with different colors, angles, quality, and quantity. Just explore by yourself. Now, it's time to... The lighting things sound easy, right? But how can we actually use it? Let's see how I can apply this lighting method to my painting. We are going to paint Denji from Chainsaw Man today, and let's focus on the lighting process. There are several things you should keep in mind while using 3 points lighting. Lighting instead of shading. If you feel it is difficult when shading, you could try the opposite. I'll start with the background first. My background is simple, only black and red. Then I color the base color of the subject. I only color the base roughly the same value as the background so that we can put light on it. And now with the light, let's start with the key light and make it directional. When I painted this, my dumb mind added the fill light first, but you shouldn't do that. Instead, you should add a key light first, then fill light. At this stage, you want to avoid the airbrush. The airbrush will make your light look very blurry. As you can see here, my key light is high above with a cool temperature and a white color. On the other hand, my fill light is down below with a warmer temperature and a red color. You may be wondering where the backlight is. Actually, I did come up with a decision that I'm not going to use a backlight. I want this painting to be a mix between studio and natural battlefield. So I think backlight would be a little bit too much. Now, after we lay all the foundations down, it's time to render. This is my final painting. As you see, with lighting, the painting is more cinematic and more interesting to look at. If you want me to make an in-depth tutorial on how to paint like this, make sure to comment down below. And here's a cool video I think you would like to watch. <laughs>